So we want to go malware development. That's nice, but I believe that's something super important that needs to be explained. All the hype in malware development is understandable based on the need for it. However, I see that a lot of the guys are actually missing some main points when it comes to programming. And I think it's crucial to actually explain what's going on under the hood, how these languages operate, and how to pick the best language for you. So that's what we're going to answer in this video. And to start, we're going to explain the types of programming languages. So let me make the font a little bit bigger so you can see that. Okay, sweet. Now, here we, we are going to start by explaining the very two types of programming languages. The first one is being compiled, while the second one is actually being interpreted. So let me make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to read. All right. And let's start by explaining these two because I think that's crucial for picking up the language based on your operation. Now, let's talk about compiled language first, why I prefer it, and why I think this one are the best option for Maldiv. Here, how the compiled, compiled languages works. Let's imagine you have some kind of a source code, right? This might be anything from C code, NIM code, Go code, or anything in between. So you have the code there, and what must be done is that you run this code through the compilation phase or the compiler. After it's compiled and during the compilation, really a lot of stuff happens, like it's checked for errors, checked for all the imports, are there any syntax issues, and so on. And after everything is all right and passed the compilation phase, then the corresponding file is outputted. So we can say something like file out. In most of the cases, this might be an exe file, a DLL, a ELF binary if we're coding on Linux, but the process is similar or exactly the same. So we have source code based on specific language. Then we compile the source code with a different compiler such as GCC, uh, G++ and so on. And then something happens and we have a file. Now that's nice. But here we have all of advantages and disadvantages. But in order to fully explain them, it's also needed to explain what's interpreted languages. So here we again have the source code. Because without the source code, there's no need to speak about that in the first place. And what makes the difference here is that the source code can be directly executed. Just like that. However, we missed some important point, and that point is called interpretation or interpreter. So what happens here is different than what happens on the compilation. However, again, it has its own advantages and disadvantages. This is typical for languages like Python, PowerShell, or other scripting languages, where you have the source code itself, and if you have the interpreter that is capable of reading and understanding the source code, then you can directly execute it. This is proven that you can pretty much write source code into Notepad, then directly execute it with Python without you needing to generate any additional specific files. So that's why they are called interpreter, interpreted. Now, as mentioned before, both of these languages has their own plus and minuses. The biggest plus that I think compiled languages are better for Maldiv is that they are extremely portable. So imagine you write your malware, imagine you write your code in C. After you compile the code, you get your file, even a DLL or an exe. After you translate the file into a targeted machine, it can execute right off the bat. No different dependencies needed. No specific environment is needed. The file is just going to work. Then it depends on how good you've written it. However, if we take the example of the interpreted languages, here the case is different. Because let's imagine you write your code in Python and you want that Python code to be executed on the target machine. That's okay. But here, in order for that to happen, you need to have 
the interpreter already installed on the target machine or find some shady way to, to make this code to compile and translate into C, such as Nuit, as I did the video before. So on terms of MAUDEF, I can generally recommend sticking to compiled languages. Why? Because they are portable. Now, the disadvantage here is that, of course, if you want to make changes to the file, of course, we have to modify the source code, recompile, retransfer the file, which is a process which takes some time and can be frustrating and time consuming. However, after you've done this job good, this is also going to work right off the bat, which is huge, and that's what is needed for Maldiv. Now, I'm not saying that interpreted languages are bad. They are not bad at all, but they can be used in specific and niche cases where you must be sure that the corresponding interpreter is present on the targeted environment. I really hope that video was useful. See you in the next one.